Um, with regards to the weight on the technical manual update, I'm gonna make a motion that we stop infill lot building until that's done. Um, if foundations... Please. If foundations have been poured, I understand that we should not, I, I candidly do not think that we should stop that because they've spent money and reliance on our current code. But if foundations have not been poured, there's no harm, I don't believe, or I believe that the harm to our current residents potentially is outweighed by any harm in waiting um, 60 to 90 days until we update this technical manual. So I'm gonna make a motion that we stop infill lot building where foundations have not been poured for 90 days um, and then we can revisit where we are on the, uh, the update to our technical manual. I'm going to second your motion just for topic of conversation here so we can discuss it because I think it's a little more complex than just stopping because we have folks that have cleared lots. Uh, hold on, hold on. All right, so council, Councilwoman Pontieri, you've made a motion. Could you restate the motion for me, please? Certainly. The motion is to pause infill lot building, new infill lot building for 90 days to give us the opportunity to update our technical manual, at which time we will revisit whether or not the technical manual has been updated. And at that time, we can decide whether or not we want to extend the pause or go what, ahead what? and remove it. Okay, so the first half is a motion. Okay, is there a second? I, I made a second. Okay, so with a motion and a second, let's open it up for discussion by city council members. So I, I, wanna, I, I wanna make sure that we make it a little more specific. If someone has cleared a lot and is about to pour that foundation and there is a buyer waiting for a house to be completed, I, I think we, we have to take that into consideration too. In other words, if you know, you sold your house and you're waiting. Please. So I think what we would need to do is to make sure that that lot was not going to be overfilled and make an exception if that's the case. If they're doing it the normal way, I'm good with making an exception. I think 60 days is, will be more than adequate because they're going to be back here um, next month. Well, the, so, and I understand. What or at least we could maybe say if they come back next month and we're happy with it, we'll suspend it. Councilman Clufus, any comment? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, if we have the council support, I mean, there's obviously an issue here, but I think it deserves more insight. And if we can have some staff present, or maybe even our city manager, talk about the, the numbers behind what we're talking about doing here. I think that is also relevant. Also, all of the residents who spoke tonight, I sure as heck hope that they are listed on our matrix of houses and properties that need attention. So I think last time we spoke at the last council meeting, I think the number was like, Below 30, if it was if correct, below 30, I believe is 26. 26. I now, I almost feel like we have 26 people in this room that feel like that they have had a problem. All right, please. So I feel like we need to hear from staff on a potential uh, blanket solution or fix that we're talking about here. For 26 different cases, maybe we can have additional comments from our staff about what exactly is going on with these cases and have a list of the 26 homes that are still actually having problems. I think just having a blanket, basically the moratorium on development in Palm Coast is a little bit of a heavy blanket solution. But I think the public and our council, we deserve uh, more of an insight and a direct line from uh, our staff on what exactly is going on um, and where where we stand with this. So even if we had a 60 day uh, moratorium on in lot development, it doesn't really tell us what's going on right now, right? So let's hear from staff. I mean, obviously there's a problem here, right? But let's hear from our staff to see whether or not that problem reconciles with what we're talking about today. Because unless we have a, a proper understanding of what, what exactly numerically is going on out in our, and let's see if there's a discretion between both of them. This isn't uh, crazy talk. This is just, let's, let's talk about the facts. All right, thank you, Councilman Klufus. Cal not, not moratorium Cal or anything. I, Vice, Mayor, Vice Mayor, let's, let's, let's hold for a second. I just, I need an opinion from uh, City Council here because you're starting to walk into the area of property private uh, property rights, you're walking into the area of unemploying people, you're starting to get into an area that I'd like some, excuse me, I'd like to have some direction from our city attorneys, or if you would. Yes, certainly, my comments are just limited to process and procedure. Uh, my recommendation to council would be to let staff do the, the legwork and that there be proper, that, please, and that there be proper notice 
and that this be put in proper form. Because really what, in essence, the motion is, is a, is a moratorium regarding the development of infill lots. And that, in my opinion, would require an, a more formal action of the council by ordinance and having advanced proper notice and having public input before the council would take an action such as that. So again, my, my comment just simply, councilwoman, uh, it goes to process. Um, and I, I look at that motion as providing direction to staff to bring something back. Well, uh, your request is, is to table your motion um, until the next, I, I'm a little uh, guidance here. Yeah, no, I would recommend um, amending the main motion to require staff to bring it back at your could that just could the motion be amended to be considered at the next business meeting the could next you meeting. add to your motion that we will consider your motion um, along with it second at the at the January 16th meeting certainly I'm happy to amend it and I'm I happy just to stick with the second so we have the the motion and the second uh, amended so does the clerk have that um, and that gives staff enough time obviously to accelerate the number of um, <clears throat> residents that um, have an issue. It also helps us, you know, I'll make this one comment that there's a general problem here and we're very much aware of it. And as I mentioned earlier, we've raised it to the highest priority that we can, but we also have to understand that every single one of these lots has a different issue and a slightly custom problem, which has to be addressed. So the solution will probably end up being many in number. So I think the delay to the 16th is prudent and we will be able to make a decision at that meeting. So I'll go.